Hi guys, Jeff off the grid and well welcome back and today we've got a busy uh, busy one for you We're gonna go check on the shelter I've got some new tools that I made to showcase and test out might make a fire crane over the fire pit and uh, Just have a great day in the woods and also showcasing for you the book that first got me introduced to bushcraft stay tuned Everything looks safe and sound. This is awesome. Followed coyote tracks right in here. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, let's get set up, unpacked, and get started on our day. We haven't been back at the shelter for a little while, so anytime there's been snow or ice, or you're starting from scratch on a frozen pit like this one, you want to make sure you have a bit of a raised bed. Now, these coals will really take quite easily after we start a tinder, a little tinder bundle. So we're gonna put those in the middle and then from there build on top of that and then start our fire. Let's go get some more fuel. I've started carrying a new piece of gear, especially when I'm to and from camp, going for the odd walk. It's a leather satchel with a little monkey's fist on the end. Quick draw string. This one happens to be branded with my logo. But what it's perfect perfect for is you take that large knot, tuck it under your belt, and from there it's it's anchored. It opens up a nice fist size opening in the top, and then you can collect maybe edible wilds. In this case, I'm going to be collecting tinder and little twigs, maybe some bark. And I can tuck it in this pouch, really accessible, keeps things dry, keeps it hands free, so I'm able to go to and from and collect those items. Quick draw, and you can kind of can contain it, maybe keep the snow and water off it if you're in the uh, in, a, in a spit of a rain or snow, and take that back and back to camp to uh, start a preparation of food or fire. Pretty handy, I like it. said guys to collect twice as much as you need the old adage is that if you think you have enough double it that's always a good practice safe practice so when you're at the wood source the source of your fuel take more than enough and then maybe you can always use it next time or uh, certainly it prevents you from 
pulling back out if the weather changes. This should be a good start. One of the biggest areas that um, people kind of fail to pay attention, they're, they're looking for the end game and that's the uh, the fire, but oftentimes they, they fail to spend the necessary time doing preparation. And uh, it's absolutely key to getting a fire started. One of the easier fire starters that I've actually made is just using your paraffin wax from the grocery store. And you can make these pucks. Now how I did that, I had a little tray, you can use egg carton if you will. And being a school teacher, I have lots of shavings available. Perhaps you have a, a pencil sharpener in your shop or your garage or whatnot. But those pencil shavings work great. You put them in in a container, melt and pour in pour from wax, and basically it creates these little pucks. Now, this pair from wax really lights well. You take a little bit of it, like so, scrape up the surface. combination of those wax little parts and the shavings and now that'll light right up with the ferrocerium rod. Now, once that's lit, and I feel the surrounding materials have taken enough, I might be able to salvage that puck back, extinguish it, and there, I'll have it for another time. Okay, I showcased these in my last video, but I didn't uh, really take the time to explain exactly how they work. So I'm going to open one up again. My bushcraft knife, I 
really did a better effort sanding it and uh, put the, uh, the logo back on there so that uh, really works well so what you do you take your standard cotton q-tip okay and snip it off with a pair of scissors leaving behind now I like the ones that have the cardboard uh, kind of stick in them rather than the uh, the nylon ones and with that cotton q-tip you dip it in Vaseline and petroleum jelly now you start the process by taking a length of straw a single straw would work probably better than my lighter you light the end of the straw melt the end and then pinch it pinch it down Okay, some people prefer to pinch first and then melt the end closed. Okay, from there, and that's a watertight seal. These are perfect to, to tuck inside paracord bracelets, any number of survival kits. So you take the Vaseline coated head of the Q-tip, slide it down inside beyond the edge of the straw. Pinch off the edge of the straw. Make sure that Q-tip is down in there. There we go. Pinch off the edge of the straw. And then with any lighter, barbecue lighter, you can see that the end just melts over. And then with a quick pinch, you can test the pressure inside if it collapses, or you can obviously see a hole, it's uh, not waterproof. But if it's a, it's a sealed packet, it'll be firm and hard to the touch, and that works perfectly. Another way to store tinder in a waterproof container indefinitely. Great to store inside your paracord bracelets, survival kit, Altoids tin, EDC in the bottom of your uh, of one of your knife pouches, or your bottom of the pouch for your your uh, multi-tool so that works really well go ahead and try to make some easy to make sometimes the most experienced bushcrafter also has various gadgets it's not all about you know lighters and ferrule rods and, and flint and steel sometimes they have more, a little more sophisticated pieces of equipment now this is a piece that uh, more of a novelty item that I came across but this is another way to Again, if you're in a pinch, make fire. This is one of the, it's called canned heat, magic flame. Some people call it sterno. It's the same fuel as uh, you might see it at a buffet, heating the, uh, the pots of fuel. This is um, obviously can be lit on its own to give a very hot flame and put into a, a pack stove, for example. But sometimes what I, what I've used this for in, in very wet, rainy conditions is I'll take a little bit of material. I'm going to use this. Let me see. I'm going to use this little piece of uh, cedar as a as a table little, to model this. So sometimes when uh, when you're in a pinch, you could have your little tinder bundle of sorts little twigs and so on but what you can do is take some of this magic flame or kind of it's like for a fondue set perhaps and take out a little dollop and put it right on your your tinder and from there that'll take a spark quite easily even from the uh, uh, an old lighter perhaps <clears throat> this was a gift given to me with no intention of being used uh, for bushcraft per se And I'll try to find the link to it. It's one of those tactical piezoelectric lighters and that can be charged by USB you plug it in and It has a little electrical charge that jumps across those two Terminals so even that and then there's the lights on the side show me I have two bars left so something like that 
with uh, this very sophisticated tool like this. And again, this may even work uh, rain or shine. And there you go. Just the, the little touch and that fuel. Now that fuel will continue to burn, that little dollop of fuel, but that will do very well to dry out your tinder or any small twigs you have. I'll try to hold this up so you can actually see that there's flame coming off there because it's, it's virtually invisible. You can see that. It's almost an invisible flame coming off there. That'll burn very hot for the duration of any of your tinder to uh, catch light. Pretty neat. A little bit of a little cheating, if you will. that's one quick way to start a fire without worrying about super dry tinder because that'll dry it right away and that little dollop certainly in a, in a bird's nest or a little tinder bundle a grass bundle that'll dry everything up quite quickly and, and light up just another tool for your toolbox see the flame there reflecting off my coat very hot and that's that's let me see if I can move that twigs away there is still almost as much fuel there as when we started that's burning extremely hot like a chemical fire one more tool for your toolbox Thank you so much for joining me today. We had a great day building the gantry suspension system over the fire. We talked about the Richard Graves bushcraft book. I hope you can find it to add to your library. We talked about the uh, the option of making your own bushcraft tools. Spoon gouge, maga talking. Uh, didn't take much, only a little bit of inspiration and uh, a little bit of know-how around the common some common tools in your garage. Other than that, we talked about uh, the uh, Tinder pouch. is a, is a simple quick build you want to add that to your to your belt and uh, it really serves its purpose to uh, carry anything from tinder to edible wilds and have it right on your hip we looked at those metal tins if you can find a metal tin like that at the local uh, local thrift shop it really works well to pack food and quickly throw it on the fire without worrying about burning and a uh, great way to reheat your lunch oh it was a super busy day and, and i'm glad you came along don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, the bell notification, thumbs up, all those things. Send me comments and Q&As if you have any. And until next time, it's Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now.